Now we have completely implemented both banners, full screen ads, and handle the concepts that we can display the full screen ads between the two activities. In this video, we will handle how to add voice or reduce the hated people. Because some people, they continuously click ads which can lead our monetized account in the trouble. So by this way, the techniques that we gonna implement will not mean that we can bypass it 100% but just reduce, okay? Okay, so to do that, we will use the share preference to store the status of the user which already clicked the ads or not. So first, we're gonna create a new Kotlin class. Then we're going to name this class that Mikachi. So this class we're going to use to manage all the codes for the share preference. Now the instance need the context, so we're going to pass the parameter context to the constructor. But then we're going to use the init blocks to instance the share preference. But we're gonna place that variable to the global reference so that we can use it anywhere else in this class. So now uh, let's instance the object. And here we're going to post the name, which is uh, similar to the database name. And then we're going to set with the private mode. And here, let's create a new function to uh, set the data, which we need a key and a value. For the parameter key, should be a string. And the value is the long. Because a uh, share preference objects, there's no function support at date time. So we're going to store with the long as the milliseconds. And now we're going to call the edits function to modify the value with the specific key. And then we're gonna call put long function with the key and the value. So next we're going to call commit functions to self change which we have uh, added. So when we put the value with the key, it's gonna store those in this catchy name. So just like a, a small database. And then we can uh, set the value. So we need to retrieve it back to use the value with the parameter is a string. And what we need is the value, which is uh, as a long time to return it back. And now let's return the value with a specific key. And here we can have a default value if there are no existing key that we want. So let's set it to a zero. So right now we're going to uh, FB Manager class, which we have uh, all the code implements about the ads. So at first we're gonna work on the banner. We instance the object Kachi to about to use the function. And now in this section, we're gonna handle when we click the add. So we're gonna set the value in on click function with the current date as the milliseconds. And then we're going to hide the layout banner when we click on the ads so that they can't click anymore. And now let's go to the top. We can have a date time that we click the ads. And then we're going to set fixed duration on the current time so that we can decide to enable the ads display it back or not. And here we're going to use a calendar class to set the fixed value at the seconds. For example, 20 seconds. It means when I launch the app in 11.14, the second is always set equal to 20. By this, I can check if the current time, which is a in 20 seconds less than the last time that we click and then we're gonna cancel the ads 
unless the time is 11 15 it's gonna be bigger than the last time that we click okay so i think this practice might be a little bit complicated but you might get a better idea than this okay so now i'm going to go to the main activity and we're going to change the default size to the other to see the how different size is it and now let's run the app okay the app is show and we can see the banner is the bigger than before if i click on this ads it's gonna disappear and then we're gonna relaunch the app again as we can see the touch metric is about cancel the ads which we match our condition so we cannot see the ads and not be able to click the ad or ad impression is not work anymore unless we go back to the app storage and clear it all right friends hope this would help you in some case and see you in the next video